Welcome again right now at Philippians chapter 1, verses 15 through 18. Always rejoice when the gospel is preached. Paul said, Some indeed preach Christ, even out of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The former insincerely preach Christ from selfish ambition, thinking that they add affliction to my chains, but the latter out of love, knowing that I am appointed for the defense of the gospel, the good news. What does it matter? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed. I rejoice in this, yes, and will rejoice. I remember years ago talking to a guy who really had a chip on his shoulder against a certain preacher. You know, he was saying a lot of stuff against this preacher saying, well, this preacher is, you know, selfish and, and money hungry and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But I said, you know what? It says in the scriptures that it doesn't matter really the motivation of that preacher. And yes, there are some preachers that are not good preachers. I mean, there are some preachers with bad motivations and bad practices, just like there are some doctors with bad motivations and bad practices. Some, you know, government workers that have bad practices. However, the point is this, are they preaching the true gospel? Are they preaching repentance? Are they defining, identifying, pointing out and eradicating sin, calling people to repentance in their ministry? That's the first and foremost thing. If they are truly preaching the gospel, we should rejoice. That's not to condone what they're doing. That's not to say that what they're doing is good. That's not to cover it up either. Yes, they should repent. If they're selfish, they should repent too. However, as they say, we shouldn't throw out the baby with the bathwater because if they preach the the true gospel, the true gospel of repentance, then we should rejoice. Remember, Jesus said, all of the angels of heaven rejoice at one person who goes forward and says the sinner's prayer and goes back to their sinful life. No, no. Jesus said, all of the angels of heaven rejoice at one sinner that repents, that changes their lifestyle, changes their ways, that they used to be a sinner, but now they're not. They've turned. They have changed. Now they don't sin. They can say, I am an ex-sinner, not a sinner. Okay, so that is the most important thing right there. It reminds me of what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 23. He said to his disciples, he said to his followers, listen to the Pharisees. He said, listen to the Pharisees, do and observe, do and observe all that they tell you to do and observe, but don't do what they do because they're hypocrites. So what they say is right. What they say is correct because they sit on the seat of Moses. They tell you what God's word really says. They lead you into God's law as they should be, but they don't practice it themselves. Like in effect, in Matthew chapter 23, Jesus said, do what they say, but not as they do. Have you ever had anybody accuse you of some sin or some past sin, bring up your past when you're preaching the gospel to them? Hey, you know what? Use Matthew chapter 23. Jesus said, hey, listen to the Pharisees, but just don't do what they do. If they're hypocrites, that's between them and God. But if they say what is right and correct, then do it. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.